the addition of five new playlists to the MCC, frequency of maps increased and decreased, some even completely removed, and refinement of the entire multiplayer experience. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another Halo MCC news update. If you enjoy these kind of informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the channel and video and more people get a chance to see this video so they get to be in the know when it comes to anything new coming to this game. And if you want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe on the channel here so you stay up to date with anything Halo. So recently on 343's website, Halo Waypoint Postums posted up a MCC update link everyone know about the current game modes maps and availability of each one so now we have the entire playlist that was originally posted a few months ago so now we have the entire experience of the mcc available for everyone to play postums does know they're going to keep an eye on the popularity of these playlists and so that they can see how they would need to refine the experience even more so then if a playlist is not getting played as much they can remove that and have that be more of a rotational so a lot of waiting and removals were changed for the current status of the playlist options for the mcc for big halo 3 big team battle what happened is that all all team sniper variants were removed which is great they increased the weight on Valhalla and standoff understandably since those are probably the most popular Halo 3 big team battle map Halo 2 anniversary team arena reduced the weight of stone town I can agree with that since stone town 4v4 plays rather slow and a little boring it's not really that much of a competitive map so having it in a ranked playlist it just doesn't belong but all you h2a stone town fans don't worry you will see it in another later on in this video Halo 2 Classic Team Arena, the ranked version, reduced variants of Team Snipers, they reduced the weighting on all Tombstone, Elongation, Desolation, and Foundation game types, and removed Burial Mounds, which makes sense since Burial Mounds is also a big team battle map, which we'll go into later why that was removed from the Halo 2 Classic. Halo Combat Evolved, Team Doubles, the ranked version, they removed Wizard, which is great because honestly, Wizard just has the worst spawns possible. You're constantly getting spawned by the middle of the map. You're going to get wrecked. It's just not a fun map to play right now. And they also reduce the weight of Rat Race. And I'm sure a lot of people are curious about Halo 3 since that's definitely the most popular game on the MCC. But these are all the changes coming to Halo 3 Team Arena. What's going to happen is that moving forward with Halo 3 Team Arena, what's going to happen is to reduce the weight on all blackout game types. So I'm pretty sure it's just going to be Team Slayer pretty much on that one. And reduce the weight in all Last Resort and Standoff game types. Removed one flag on Blackout, which I'm surprised it was even there in the first place. And they also increased the weighting on Blackout Team BRs, increased the weighting on Construct King of the Hill, increased the weight on Foundry, they also increased the weight on Guardian Team BRs, Guardian Team Ball, Heretic Team BRs, Heretic CTF, Narrows B Team BRs and CTF, and the Pit Team BRs and CTF, all were those were increased. Here's even a fun graph right here, I'll show you guys kind of how the overall vote of what people liked on the map, people really like their Team Slayer, but also CTF has a really good showing on some maps like your hair, like on Pit, Narrows, and Heretic. Other maps, not so much, but Oddball works really well on, on Guardian. So you can kind of see where 343 was coming up with their ideas of how to weight the Halo 3 Team Arena playlist. And also with the upcoming rotational playlist coming to the MCC, there was a clear winner between the three available game modes. The available game modes were Halo 2 Anniversary Team Doubles, they also had Halo 2 Classic Team Doubles, and then Halo 2 Classic SWAT and Halo 2 SWAT won hands down between all three of those. So we will be seeing SWAT coming to the MCC here very soon. And this will be a rotational playlist as well. So if you guys really enjoy your SWAT on MCC, show your support, play the game mode, keep it active, and maybe it'll stay as a permanent playlist. And finally, the reason why I was holding off all this information on maps like Barrier Mounds and Last Resort and stuff like that being kind of weighted differently is because we have five new game modes coming to the MCC. We have Big Team Battle, which is going to be a mixed playlist of Halo 1, 2, Halo 2 Anniversary, and Four. No Halo 3 Big Team Battle in this playlist because Halo 3 Big Team Battle has its own playlist. Which I'm really excited about that. I would just love to get the chance to play some CE or Halo 2 Anniversary or just Halo 2 Blood Gulch versions and get to play some CTF on that and have a good time. Another one being Team Action Sack is coming to the MCC so if you like your more kind of social game modes. There you go, you get to play Action Sack right in there. Halo 3 Lone Wolves, the free-for-all mode for Halo 3 is coming as well. Halo, C Halo CE Team Arena, which is going to be an unranked 4 
3 4 playlist so you can play that as well and also halo 3 team doubles to round off that list now you're probably wondering well what maps are going to be in this big team battle mix playlist well you can check them out right here like i said there's ce halo 2 halo 2 anniversary and halo 4 we can check out the maps right here we got sidewinder hang em high blood gulch ice fields which is a pc only on ce and danger canyon same thing infinity also a c only uh, pc only map timberland also a pc only map i hope i pronounce this right gephrophobia something like that another ce on another pc only map burial mounds coming there zanzibar coagulation headlong waterworks containment relic terminal district which is a pc only map for halo 2 same thing with uplift as well coming to the mcc big team battle we got complex from halo 4 we got Exile, Longbow, Meltdown, Ragnarok, which is obviously a remake of Valhalla in Halo 4, Vortex, Wreckage, Harvest, Shatter, Daybreak, Outcast, Perdition, Vertigo, Ravine, and then of course you have Remnant coming to the Halo 2 anniversary, which is going to be great. I haven't had a chance to play Big Team Battle on this map, which is obviously Remnant, which is Relic, was designed to be Big Team Battle only. And that's why it was back in the old days, so I'm glad to get a chance to play that. Stone Town, Bloodline as well. So we have a lot of Halo 4 maps in this big team battle mix playlist. And so I'm hopefully we don't see too many times coming up with Halo 4. I don't really care much for Halo 4, but um, you know, hopefully this one this will be one of the times where I really wish voting was involved with the MCC. But hopefully, you know, the weight on Halo 4 maps is reduced a little bit. But anyways guys, that's a new playlist update coming to the MCC. If you enjoyed this video and found it informational, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the channel and helps the community stay up to date with anything Halo related. If you enjoyed this video and also you want to have your, how's your, let us know your experience on the MCC, please leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap the subscribe with the bell to keep you updated with anything Halo on this channel. If you're new to the channel or have missed anything on my channel here as well, make sure to check the videos on the screen right now, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.